friends welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here I apologize in advance for the lack of makeup but it is just a relaxing day and I wanted to give my face just a little bit of breathing room today you are in store for a WW what I eat in a day to lose weight on the green plan so I am following the green plan on WW just remember all of the points are exactly the same with the exception of the zero point foods so most of what I'm eating today is going to be very similar in points on both the blue and purple program. So if you want to see what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW's green program, a little bit of diesel and Lola, some hauls and just some fun, just stay tuned. Hobby Lobby haul for you. We have everything from office decor to Christmas, a little bit more fall decor and Halloween decor as well for next year. So let's get into this haul because this is a huge Hobby Lobby haul. So let's start with Halloween. All of their Halloween was 66% off. I don't have any for my office because I haven't had an office up until now. So I picked some things up for next year that I thought would just be really cute on my bookshelves. So hello books, cats and bats, trick or treat, October 31st, normally $15.99 and it was 60 6% off. So keep that in mind for prices for Halloween, 66% off. I found this cute little black with black and white bats that says trick or treat. Normally this was $6 and again, 66% off. I found this cute little pumpkin and he's technically a picture holder, but I'm just going to use it as decor and it was $4, 66% off. And I love this little ghost. Uh, he's so cute. Normally $3.99 as well. And then I found this cute little beware, which was normally $3.99. And I thought that that would be cute on my bookshelf. And then I also thought this was just the cutest darn cat dish ever. Maybe fill it with some treats or something. And normally $9.99. And then of course 66% off. So I think this is enough Halloween decor for next year for my office. Just so cute. I couldn't pass it up for the price. I also picked up a few more fall Thanksgiving type of decor since I just ordered a second bookcase as well. So I have this grateful, thankful, blessed little wood sign with an easel. And I just think it's so cute. And I don't even see the price. Oh, there we go. Normally $5.99 and all of the Thanksgiving decor was 50% off. So couldn't pass that up. I found this cute little galvanized metal pumpkin with these cute little leaves. I just loved this. It goes really well with the decor in my office. And it was normally $14 and then half off. And then I couldn't pass this up just for something kind of fun. This cute little give thanks pumpkin with a crow on it. Normally $8.00 and half off. So that's just a few little fall things. I have quite a few in my office already. I just wanted to kind of fill the gaps. So next I'm going to show you just traditional home decor. So my new desk has a couple of shelves. So I found these really cute baskets. They have that chicken wire gray with this fun lining. Unfortunately, these were not on sale, but they were only $12 a piece, which is not bad. So I picked up two of those and I used my 40% off coupon for this candle holder are normally $22.99 so I think I paid I don't know $12 for it but you can see it's that gray brown kind of rustic look and I have a really pretty white pillar that I'm going to put in this and this is going to go on my bookshelf and then I had to pick this up as soon as I saw it this is the letter C of course for my last name galvanized with that kind of brush rust edge and this was normally $10 and was half off so of course I had to pick that up and then I needed a couple more pieces of greenery. So this one was actually half off and it's normally $15 and it's got this nice white base with this just kind of 
greenery. I just needed some greenery for my other bookshelf. And I thought for half off, you couldn't beat it for about $7. And then this, I am obsessed. This was also half off. And this was normally $25. So it was $12. So it's this cute little chicken wire basket with these burlap plants and this is going on my shelf i cannot wait i already have the perfect spot for this on a smaller shelf in my office so i couldn't pass that up so that is all the just regular home decor that i grabbed now let's move right into christmas so i found this white wood tree it has this cute little base with holly and pine cones i just thought it was so cute it matches the colors in my office normally $7.99 it was half off so I couldn't pass that up I actually saw this at the checkout counter gets me every time and then I found this cute little Merry Christmas sign you're going to see a theme I'm going to be doing a very rustic Christmas in my office because my decor is very rustic so I grabbed this and just so you know all Christmas was half off so this was six dollars so not a bad price for that. And then I had to pick this up. My middle name is Joy and I love this because it is so cute and rustic and it was normally $10 so I paid $5 for it. Couldn't pass it up. You can see the woods kind of rustic. I loved that. And then I found him and I thought that he was seriously the Dosh Garn cutest little snowman. I put him over here so you can see him. Isn't he cute? He's got little metal arms. I just love 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 him and he was normally ten dollars so i only paid five dollars for him and i just think seriously he's so cute and then of course i had to pick up this joy to the world sign again it's my middle name normally six dollars so i paid three dollars for it and i just think it's cute and all of these are just gonna go so well on the shelves in my office i have it all in my mind so i'm so excited and then I picked this up for my office. It'll probably go on my desk. It's a little easel chalkboard and it says days till Christmas. And you just put a little piece of chalk here on the ledge and you can change that each day. I have one for my house as well. Um, $8 normally. So I only paid $4 for it. And I just think it's adorable. And then I had to pick this little Christmas bell with this cute little pine cone and holly mix on top, you guys. Isn't this cute? It's going on my shelf, of course, in my office. And this one was normally $7.99, so I paid uh, $3.50, no, $4. So such a great deal, so cute. And then I couldn't pass this up. I was thinking I wanted a Christmas tree in my office. So I saw this one and he is just so cute with this cute little button burlap bottom and a little star on top. It was normally $5, so of course $2.50. Couldn't pass it up. Also, I found these Ho 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 blocks. I thought that these were the cutest, tied together with some jute, normally $12, so I paid $6 for that. Two more things. I have this cute little snowman. Now, I think he's gonna go in my office because he too has that really rustic vibe to him. I just think he is adorable. And he was normally $12, so $6. And then I actually picked this up for my house because this is more the decor of my house. I am very traditional in my Christmas colors. Um, I think he's so cute. You guys look at him. He bobbles. He is seriously so cute and he's made out of tin and he's covered in glitter with these cute little boots. He's seriously the cutest darn thing. He was normally $20, so I got him for 10 bucks. And I just think he is so dang cute. So that is everything that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. You guys, quite the haul. It was almost $200, but you know what? I've got all the seasons covered for my office, some fun new decor pieces, and with all the discounts and coupons, you can't pass it up at Hobby Lobby. So that, my friends, is my ginormous Hobby Lobby haul. So this is my breakfast for this morning, uh, bringing in some fall vibes. So I have a bowl of fruit here. We had some leftover grapes and honeydew from when we traveled back from Leavenworth yesterday. And I just paired that with some raspberries. So I'm gonna have a bowl of fruit. And then here I have two of the Western Bagel Pumpkin Baglets. So these are the Western Bagel Alternative Baglets. These are so good, you guys. These are amazing. So there are these small, little bagels each one of these little bagels is only one smart point so that is one point bagel the pumpkin ones are so good if you have two of the baglets it bumps it up to three points which is what i did here 
but these are outstanding. All of the Western bagels, as long as you purchase the alternative, see that right there? All of those bagels, full size, are going to range from two to five smart points. Mini baglets, which I think is the perfect amount. I mean, even one of these is a great por portion of your breakfast. The mini baglets are only one smart point a piece. They have pumpkin, everything, cinnamon, you name it, they have it. I love Western Bagel. I eat these all the time. I love them toasted. I added a little bit of the Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese to it, and it is the perfect pairing. So if you're interested in checking out Western Bagel, I do have a 10% off discount code. I will put it here on the screen for you. If you do their build a box option where you get to select the types of bagels that you want in your box, you can also get free shipping and use my code for 10% off. So it's kind of a double discount, but I highly recommend these. If you are a bread lover, a bagel lover, this is going to save the day because the smart points are so low and they are so good. So I highly recommend Western Bagel. Check out their website. Any questions, just leave them in the comments below for me. I love these. These are limited edition. So if you're interested in the pumpkin, get them while you can because they will be gone. So I'm going to have two of the pumpkin baglets for three smart points. I have two smart points worth of the Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese on there. Oh, so good. And then I have one full egg and one egg white. So my breakfast is two points for the egg because I am following the green plan, so I count for eggs. And then five points for my two bagels, including the cream cheese, zero for my fruit. So my breakfast is a total of seven smart points. Hi. Well, hello. Bubba, are you gonna get up today, buddy? I know she mama. Hi, buddy. I know it's raining. It's pouring rain here today, so we don't want to get up when it's raining, huh, bud? No. Lola, do you want to get up? Hi, baby. Well, good morning. Are you going to get up today? Probably not. No, probably not because it's raining, huh? Oh, I know, baby. A stretch. Yes, a big girl. Good girl, babe. You guys just relax today because it's raining out. Yeah, you just relax today. So I wanted to show you guys these face masks. So there is a company called Save Sue. I'll put it here on the screen for you. It is a platform where you can actually receive free products to try and test out and review. Well, they reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in testing out these 24 karat gold collagen eye masks. And I said, well, yes, you know I love my masks and my face treatments. So I wanted to give these a try and I wanted to give you guys a review on these because you can get a lot of these products for free off of that website. I am gonna go ahead and link the website below for you as well. Go check it out. It doesn't hurt to try free products, see if you like it, and you can always add it to your list of things that you wanna purchase in the future. So I'm gonna put these on, I'll show these to you guys and then I'll review them once I have left them on for some time, see how they work. So here's what the masks look like. They are gold. They're in that liquid in that little pouch. So you wanna make sure you wash and dry under your eyes really well. And then we'll apply these eye masks and we'll leave them on for 20 minutes and we'll see what kind of results we get. All right, so I put on the eye masks. When I first put them on, they feel really good. They're very cooling. They are kind of a rubbery, slimy feel. I know that doesn't sound very good, but they feel really good going on your eyes. That cooling just really feels amazing on your eyes. So you're supposed to leave these on for 20 minutes. So I am going to do that. Collagen in there, supposed to tighten around the eyes, help with any type of bagginess that you have from lack of sleep or whatever you may have the bags under your eyes from. So I am excited to see how these work. So I'll be back in 20 minutes to share with you guys my opinion of these masks. And again, this is from savesue.com. They give a lot of free product out for you to try and review. So if you're interested, definitely check out the link below, but let's see how these work. All right, so it's been the 20 minutes. So this is what these look like. I don't know if it's gonna focus on them very well, but they are, fairly thick so we're gonna go ahead and remove them 
So there's my eyes. They feel still nice and cold. These actually held their cold sensation for the entire 20 minutes, which was really nice. And as I'm feeling these now, all of the liquid or the gel is gone. So these are great. I don't notice any bad qualities of these eye masks. I don't know if it's making any difference per se, but it feels really good. It's nice and cooling. So definitely check out the Save Sue website. See if you can pick up some products to review. It's nice just to have some new things to try out, especially when you kind of want a little bit of a self-care day. So check it out down in the description box below. So here's my lunch for today. It's about 11.30. I have one of the California turkey wraps that I made in last week's meal prep. If you guys have not checked out that video, it was posted last Monday, one week ago. These wraps are so good. So what is in here is an Olay Extreme Wellness Spinach and Herb Wrap for one smart point, two slices of center cut bacon for one smart point, one point worth of avocado, one point worth of light mayo, and two points worth of turkey breast. So this is a six smart point wrap. I'm going to have some blueberries, and then I have one little bag, and this is the bag here. They were from Halloween. These are the hip peas in vegan white cheddar. So this is what they look like when you pull them out of the bag, and that is two smart points. So this is an eight smart point lunch, and this looks so good. Is it lunchtime for you guys too? Guess what? Mommy has some bacon left over from her wrap, so that's what you guys get to have today. Special day. Here you go, buddy. Don't get up. Yeah, don't get up, bud. So I wanted to show you what I got from Scentsy because in my new office, I have the Scentsy oil diffuser and I love this. I didn't want to burn candles in my office, so I just diffuse my essential oils instead. So I do have a couple of other ones that I've had, one of which is from Scentsy, one from Hobby Lobby, and one from a essential oil shop in Seattle, Washington. But I decided since I spend so much time in here now that I wanted some holiday type of oils to diffuse. So if you're interested in Scentsy, one of our amazing tribe members, my subscriber, Melissa Doffer, does sell Scentsy. So if you're looking for some wax melts, burners, Christmas gifts, essential oils. There is a link down in the description box. If you click that link, it is an open party. You can go ahead and place your order. It'll be shipped directly to your doorstep. And of course, Melissa can answer any questions that you have. So I just wanted to show you quickly the oils that I picked up for the holidays. So first I went ahead and got the tea tree. Now I just love the smell of tea tree in general. It is crisp. It is fresh. It invigorates me. If I didn't have colored hair, I would use tea tree shampoo. It is not good for colored hair. It sh literally strips out your color, but I love the smell of tea tree. So I picked up that one. And then also, I'm really excited about this, cedar wood pine. I love pine anything. And we do have an artificial tree but pine is one of my favorite things about Christmas. So we often will burn pine candles and I thought that I could put some of the cedar wood pine in my diffuser and diffuse that Christmas feel in my office. And then I also grabbed the holiday collection of oils and this is three different holiday scented oils. So it comes in this adorable little tin box and these are the size of the oils. So the ones that you get are Cheers, roasted chestnut and dancing snowflakes. So they come in this cute little jar with this foam insert and here are your notes in the different scents. So cheers, raise a glass of festive sparkling pear spiked with lemon sugar and vanilla, yummy. And then your roasted chestnuts is crushed chestnuts, vanilla and brown sugar offer a sweet spin on a holiday classic. So that would be just warm and comforting. And then dancing snowflakes is crisp morning frost sways over fresh juniper and soft soothing lavender. So that one is also going to have that little bit of that Christmas 
pine vibe, which I'm really excited about. So I have all of these amazing oils from Scentsy to diffuse. And I will tell you that their oils are way less expensive than a lot of those other companies, doTERRA, Young Living, all of those. And their oils are fabulous. You just need a few drops and your room just smells amazing. So check out the link down in the description box if you're interested in any type of Scentsy. It helps out one of our fellow subscribers and tribe members, Melissa. So I'm going to have a cup of tea while I do a little bit of work. I just clean my house. I'm going to edit some videos. This is my tea kettle. I love this so much. I purchased this at Fred Meyer. This is my cute little fall mug from, I think, Ross. Harvest Blessings Pumpkin Autumn Give Thanks. And I'm just going to have some tea out of my Sip Spy just box. This is a subscription tea box. I love it. Comes to your doorstep every month. I do have a link down below for $5 off of your first box. It is not an affiliate link. They just sent me these teas to try out and I love them and I wanted to share $5 off with you guys. So I'm going to be having a 16 ounce cup of tea. So I'm going to be doing two packets of this hot cinnamon spice from Harney and Sons. You guys, it is cold out, rainy, dreary. It is fall and I'm excited for some hot cinnamon spice. So I'm actually going to use two packages just because I have a larger mug of tea and of course zero points. And for my second cup of tea, so right now there's my hot cinnamon, I'm going to have two little packets of this Motion Matcha. This is amazing. There's no added sugar, so it's zero points. It has a very fruity matcha flavor, and both of these teas have caffeine or some sort of energy component. So it's perfect for that 1 o'clock, 1.30 afternoon slump. So I'm going to enjoy a couple cups of nice hot tea. So here's what I'm going to have for a snack this afternoon. I'm busy here working on my computer still. So I'm going to have some of the Blue Diamond Bold Wasabi and Soy Sauce Nuts. I'm going to have four smart points worth of these, which is 23 nuts. And then I've just stirred up that cup of matcha tea. So this is my four smart point snack. So I went to TJ Maxx again to grab a couple more things for my office and some dog treats. So I just wanted to show you what I found. I just got a few things this time. So I found these really cute pajamas. These have that fun little winter snowflake feel to them. They are so soft. They are just a jogger style of pajama pant. And you guys, they were only $7.99. So you can't pass that up. So I picked those up. Oh, they're so soft. I'm so excited. And then I found this cute little sign that says, Thankful, Blessed, and Pumpkin Spice Obsessed. And it's just my colors for my office. It actually would be really cute in my kitchen as well. And I got it on clearance for $5. So I thought that that was just absolutely adorable. Couldn't pass that up. I did get a couple of dog treats. I found these turkey cranberry treats. These look perfect for the dogs. They're kind of a like biscuit shape and they are grain free. They have no chicken and they were quite a deal for $2.99. And then I found these little piggies. I thought these were really cute too. Look at so cute. They're pig shaped. It is sweet apple flavor. So this is what those look like. And again, grain free, no chicken and they were $2.99. And then I found this flower or this greenery. I bought a greenery for my second bookshelf and then ended up using it somewhere else. And then I found this one for my bookshelf. I think it's beautiful. It's so pretty. And it was only $6.99, which is pretty darn good. There is room for one more piece of greenery. So I'm going to look the next time I'm at Hobby Lobby and love it. Love this. Then I found this candle. It is cedar and balsam. It smells so good. It has a white glass with a wooden top. So I want this just for decor on my shelf. It's my colors. It's the black, the white, and this nice kind of rustic wood feel as well. And this candle was $6.99. So not bad at all. And then lastly, I wanted one more just kind of tin container, not for any specific purpose, just want it for decor. I like this one. It has a black wood lid and that nice brushed silver. And this was $7.99. So I picked that up as well. Again, just for decor, no other purpose. So that's my little haul from TJ Maxx. For tonight's dinner, I'm going to be making Skinny Alfredo. It is my husband's birthday and it is our anniversary today and he loves Chicken Alfredo. So I've decided that that's what I'm going to make him for dinner, but I'm going to make it WW friendly. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. You're going to need some reduced fat milk. I'm going to be using the Kroger Carb Master Milk, minced garlic, chicken broth, 
pasta. You can either do fettuccine noodles, spaghetti noodles, whatever you prefer. We are going to go with rotini because I am adding chicken, so I want to make it more of a authentic kind of pasta dish. This is the Fiber Gourmet Light Rotini. It is 40% less calories than normal pasta. It has 19 grams of fiber, 8 grams of protein, 23 net carbs, and is non-GMO. And the best part, my friends, is no matter what plan you are on, you can have two ounces of this pasta for only three smart points. Traditional pasta, five to six smart points. Crazy that it is about half of the smart points of traditional pasta. The best place to order this is off of the Nettrition website. Down in my description box, there is a link. It'll take you directly to Nettrition. You can shop around. There are hundreds of WW friendly items, but make sure you are adding the fiber gourmet pasta to your cart because we're obsessed. My husband and I love it. So we're going to be doing the light rotini tonight. I have some black pepper, and that is supposed to be red pepper flakes. Oh my gosh, not 21 seasoning salute. So I'll swap that out for red pepper, and then we need black pepper. Some Parmesan cheese, non-fat Greek yogurt, fresh parsley, and then of course I'm gonna be adding some chicken to make the chicken Alfredo. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. The first thing that we need to do is go ahead and chop up some fresh parsley. We're gonna garnish our pasta with that. And then I'm actually going to take my chicken here. I'm gonna trim any visible fat and I'm going to dice it up fairly small and we're gonna go ahead and fry that up in a fry pan while we're putting together our pasta. No matter if I go study been under chicken just cooking here in a fry pan I'm just gonna get it nice and cooked through and then I also have a mixture of water and that little bit of chicken broth that was left in the carton after I measured it out for the recipe and I threw that in a pan to cook down our pasta so our pasta is just about done we're gonna go ahead and cook it al dente drain all of the water but about a half of a cup we are going to reserve that for later and then my chicken is also coming along nicely as soon as it is cooked all the way through i'm just going to transfer it into a bowl and set it aside so we can cook the rest of our pasta here in this same pan after you've removed the chicken from your pan you're going to go ahead and add in your garlic let this cook down for about a minute or so just until it is nice and fragrant once your garlic is fragrant, we're going to go ahead and add in one cup of our chicken broth. And we're also going to add in three quarters of a cup of the Carb Master milk. And we're going to let this heat through. We'll reduce the heat and add in our yogurt and our Parmesan cheese. When the chicken broth and milk mixture comes to a boil, we are going to go ahead and add in our half of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And we're going to add in your two tablespoons of non-fat Greek yogurt if you did decide to use that. It was optional in the recipe. We're gonna reduce the heat and let this simmer until it begins to thicken. As it's simmering, go ahead and add in your red pepper flakes. And remember, these are pretty hot, so it's up to you how much you wanna use. I literally just added a tiny, tiny bit. And then I also went ahead and added some black pepper. So we're gonna let this simmer until it is nice and thick. As your sauce thickens, we're gonna go ahead and add back in the chicken. And we're also gonna go ahead and add back in our pasta. Now, if your sauce is too thick, that is what that reserved pasta water is for. Mine actually looks pretty good. So we're just gonna make sure that our pasta gets nice and covered in the sauce and the chicken gets mixed. And we're just gonna let this warm through. So here is the Alfredo pasta all ready to go. This pan makes only four servings, so it is quite a large serving. I'm gonna go ahead and get this plated up with some veggies that I have here in the microwave, just some broccoli and cauliflower, and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart point. So here is my dinner for tonight. So I have one fourth of the chicken Alfredo. One fourth on the green plan is seven smart points. And then of course my broccoli and my cauliflower are zero. So this dinner of chicken Alfredo is seven smart points. So here is my dessert for tonight. 
I have eight ounces of the no sugar added cherry pie filling. And to that, I topped it with one of the chocolate graham crackers. Yum, this is so good. I am out of fat free ready whip. How did I let that happen? So I'm out of whipped creamer. I would have put a little bit of that on there, but this is so good. This, you guys, is like a chocolate covered cherry pie. It is delicious. So it is four smart points for the no sugar added pie filling and two smart points for the full sheet of graham crackers. So this is my six smart point dessert. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW's Green Plan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Lots of fun hauls, Diesel and Lola, lots of fun in general. All of my food, I gave you the calories and the smart points. And remember, if you are following one of the other plans, you can easily put these recipes into your recipe builder. And just remember, the points are all the same minus the zero point foods. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I'd love it if you take a moment and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part of this what I eat in a day. And that, oh, by the way, you guys, that dinner, so good. Must, must make. And pick up that fiber gourmet pasta at Nutrition. You're going to love it. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.